since we finished up last year and I told my daughter I said now this is like over when you have a revival in church and it really gets to going good God gets to moving people getting blessed and saved end of the week wham stop just like we had to do last year but you know what God said he said just to keep on praying fasting and waiting and believing and looking for and revival would continue tonight. Amen. Got that? So you just look up, take a deep breath, and worship. Because the best is yet to come. Amen. Now we're going to pray and talk to our Heavenly Father. If you don't want to stand up, you can just sit there. But you can talk to the Father, okay? Lord Jesus, I just thank you, God, for this time that we have to be with our ladies. And our ladies' renewal, God, for this revival to go on. Lord Jesus, you said it would be done, and we're believing you. I thank you, God, for the safety that you give each one to get here. And those that are on the way, Lord, I just thank you in advance for the worship we're going to have here tonight as we worship you and hear your word that you have got to coming forth to us, Jesus. And I'm thanking you, God, for every prayer you're going to answer, every sick body you're going to heal, every depressed person you're going to lift up and encourage God. And I'm just thanking in advance, Lord. And I praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. You love this little lady. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Love me. We thank you so much for coming. And we thank you for being here. And when we started talking about doing this last year, it was, we usually book, you know, 11 months ahead of time, just so we can secure the facility. And we were in the middle of the unknown. And we didn't know what to do. I'll just be 100% honest with you. We were torn. And Mom and Kaylee helped me and we prayed. And, and Kaylee said, Mom, we have to do this. And I said, well, and I, this just come out of my mouth. I said, well, it's not a matter of life or death. 
And then it was like the spirit quickened my spirit. And he was like, maybe not physical death to some people, but this weekend could be a matter of spiritual life or death for somebody. Some of you live for this every year. Some of you, this is this is your time. This is your vacation. This is your spiritual vacation. And Kaylee said, Mom, we got to do this. I said, okay then. So we signed the contract and we did it. Amen? And here we are. And I believe, and I, like I said in the letter and in the um, program, we, we have to use wisdom. And I want you guys to be careful. I want you to be safe. Many of you that are here tonight have been affected in terrible ways already by this virus. And our heart goes out to you and your families. But we want to be safe and be respectful. So, number one, that's what we're going to do. Amen? And number two, like Mom said, we're going to trust God. And number three, we're going to watch Him move. Because I know beyond a shadow of a doubt what He's going to do. And when I reached out to Crystal about doing this weekend again, bunches of y'all, I don't even know how many of y'all, you started before we went left last year. You were like, can you please come back next year? <laughs> I mean, like that. I mean, people would message me on Facebook, can Crystal come back? Crystal, please come back. And I was like, I would love to have Crystal to come back. I said, let's make sure that Crystal's the one that has the word for this year. So I reached out to her and I was like, don't, you don't have to answer yes or no, but just pray about it and let me know. And she got back to me about a week later and she said that God told her that he was going to finish what he started. Wow. Go God. Amen. And if you were here last year, it was on. I got my hair is like standing. I mean, I got a lot of hair anyway, but it's like standing up even more right now. Because I know what happened. And I know how faithful he is. And that he's going to finish what he started. Amen. Bow your heads with me. Dear Lord, we thank you so much for this time you've given us to come together. Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you for the promise that you've given us, God. Lord, we thank you that you told us in your word, God, where two or more are gathered, Lord, you're going to be there. So, God, you are already here. Lord, we brought you with us. And, God, we know and we trust that you're going to do great and mighty things. Lord, exceeding and abundant, God, above anything that we could ask or anything that we could think. And Lord, we trust you. Lord, we trust you with our life, our very life, God. We trust you this weekend. Now, God, we just raise our hands towards you, Lord, and we ask you to let your presence fill this place. God, anoint our time together. Anoint this service. Anoint this space. Anoint our musicians. Anoint Crystal. Move, God, in a mighty way. Lord, move in a way that we have never seen before. God, that when we leave this place, without a doubt, we'll know that we have been with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody with me? Amen. You can be seated. You can be seated. Where'd my girl go? Because of who you are, I give you glory.
another hand. These girls go to the Living Hope Church of God in Rosman, North Carolina, down over in Transylvania County. That's a lot of home folk over there, amen? That's God's country. Yes, Lord. Amen. And they are such a blessing to us. Kaylee's going to help them get ready. While they're coming up, are you guys enjoying the Women's Renewal Band? <laughs> Also known as the Melody Airs Band. Get that? <laughs> I have a little connection there. Amen. This kind of, I don't mean to say this in a bad way, but it sort of started as a joke. But you know what? Nothing happens by chance when God's involved. Amen. And we were at a singing a few weeks ago. And many of you know my husband sings bass in a group called the Melody Airs out of Travelers Rest, South Carolina. And these guys are their band. And it was after service one Sunday, and we were like, yeah. I said, me and Kaylee was making a joke about y'all coming and doing the music for the women's renewal. And Steve was like, well, we'll come. I said, you really would? He was like, yeah, when is it? Where is it? We'll come. Cameron, you want to come? Cameron was like, sure, I'll come. You want a drummer? I said, are you serious? He's like, yeah. We can so, learn, Praise the Lord. So they came all the way from the upstate South Carolina just to minister to y'all tonight. And they are anointed. I tell you, I'm, I told Paul, I said, I'm going to put a plug in for you. If you need a good Southern Gospel Quartet, you got a homecoming this year, you got a singing, you got the Saturday night singings, whatever, and you want a group that's anointed, these boys can flat out sing. And they don't only just sing, they minister in almost every service. They have fantastic altar services. I know they were at Trisha's church a few months ago at Holly Springs. They've been at our church. They've been at some of your other churches. So, yeah, I'm putting in a plug. If you want a good singing group and you love old-fashioned quartet music, now they're... They're Southern Gospel, but it, it's they're good. But they we have a real good band. They do have a real good band. <laughs> so we we thank them so much for being here. And it takes a pretty strong man to come and be in a group with 105 men, women. <laughs> Ain't that right, Karen Love? <laughs> I said, poor little Jimmy. We've drug him here for the last three years. We had to give that man a break. <laughs> so we are thankful that you guys came. Amen. All right, I'm gonna. Sorry, Chris. I was ready. You did not create me to worry. You did not create me to fear. But you created me to worship daily. So I'm a living over in here. Help me say yes. Yeah. Oh, you did 
to worry You did not create me to fear But you created me to worship daily So I'ma leave it all
Amen. That's our prayer. This is an old one that we done years ago, but I absolutely love it.
you, Lord, and you deserve all the glory and all the honor and all the praises because there is no one like you, Lord. There is no one like Jehovah. Amen. Praise God. There's no God. There's no God like Jehovah. And he deserves all the praise.